how do you feel about the original Christians? Well, from my research on this uh, topic, what it appears to me as though uh, is as though uh, the New Testament Gospels themselves uh, may be Roman forgeries. They may be written in the first uh, 100 years or so following the life of Christ uh, by people, uh, Pliny the Elder, the Younger, uh, possibly for the uh, Peso family or for the uh, Augustinian emperors uh, as a means of propaganda to encourage people to uh, succumb to imperialism by turning the other cheek and only using nonviolence uh, as, a, as a methodology. Uh, however, uh, I do believe also that uh, the person of Jesus uh, or the character that uh, the person in the New Testament was based on was an actual living individual uh, who did uh, certain, uh, that taught certain uh, uh, certain Gnostic, I suppose one could say, uh, beliefs uh, 2,000 years ago and uh, may have used uh, what could be considered today a form of magic, uh, ritualist or ceremonial magic, uh, to perform something that would be considered by uh, subsequent believers as miracles, uh, miracles of healing. Uh, as opposed to dark magic, but nevertheless, uh, uh, if you read, for example, the uh, uh, was it the Babylonian Talmud, I believe, of the era, describes this uh, Yeshu and his trial as uh, that of a magician who was uh, using a name of God that he had gotten from an Egyptian uh, temple uh, to you know, essentially break the rabbinical laws that said you shouldn't practice any form of uh, spiritual uh, uh, act or uh, healing practice even uh, on Sabbaths, uh, Saturdays. So when he did that, uh, they considered him a criminal or a black or dark wizard, uh, tried him and put him to death. And it was relatively unceremonious at the time uh, it didn't make necessarily the biggest stir in the uh, Roman Empire when a uh, supposed terrorist from Judea was executed. Uh, it was not as big a deal even as when uh, Osama bin Laden was executed nowadays, uh, because at the time, Jesus wasn't even the greatest of the terrorist uh, groups active in Judea. Uh, Judas Iscariot and the uh, the uh, Herodian, anti-Herodian Maccabians were. But um, it seems to me that the uh, original group of Jesus's apostles and disciples were comprised of the Essenes of, some members of the Essenes of Qumran, uh, some members of the Iskari or the Sicari uh, assassins uh, uh, group of uh, political terrorists uh, some members of just basic Gnostic or uh, Coptic uh, philo philosophical and religious belief systems. And uh, that, uh, for example, James the Just, there's a lot of uh, modern speculation that he was a brother uh, by blood to Jesus, but I suspect that it was probably a half brother uh, who had the same father, but a different, uh, or rather who had the same mother, but a different father. Uh, in, the, in the trial documents, they uh, compare Yeshu to a, uh, like uh, someone who had been uh, sired by, uh, 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 well, in the Babylonian Talmud trial documents, they describe Yeshu as by comparing him to someone who had been sired by uh, a foreigner on uh, the wife of a high priest, but this means either that Jesus himself was similarly to that person, uh, a bastard of a Roman soldier and uh, the wife of, say, uh, Shimei and Caiaphas, for example, uh, 
is left open to interpretation. So it's, it's impossible to say with certainty, but there is a high degree of likelihood that Jesus uh, was born uh, from the rape of his mother by a Roman soldier who was, uh, his mother was the wife of the high priest of the Essene community at Qumran, who were the exiled high priests from uh, Jerusalem over the state of Israel that had become Judea. Um, so when, uh, if, if you look in the, uh, the Bible, when Jesus was born, his parents fled with him into Egypt. Uh, he spent time there and supposedly, according to the Babylonian Talmud, stole uh, the name of God from a temple there. Uh, and then when he returned, he returned to Qumran uh, and was unwelcome. Uh, they called him the wicked priest in their documents and said that James the Just, who was his half-brother, uh, who was the rightful son of uh, Jesus's mother and uh, Jesus's stepfather, who was the high priest, uh, they said James the Just was the rightful heir and Jesus was a, an upstart. So what I believe happened then was that Jesus went across the Dead Sea to the east coast of it the east shore, uh, Qumran was on the west coast of it. He went across the Dead Sea and wrote what's been called the Angel Scroll, in which I believe he wrote down the name not only of uh, God that he stole from the temple in Egypt, but also names of various other uh, magical incantations that he could use to uh, create miraculous seeming uh, events. Uh, the angel scroll since then is the only way that we know that somebody named Yeshua ben Paddy even existed 2,000 years ago from an archaeological perspective, uh, as opposed to just uh, rumors in later literature. Uh, and the angel scroll itself is, has only been publicly admitted to existing uh, once by Stephen Fan of uh, the University of the Holy Land. Uh, in 1999, and then was subsequently redacted or retracted by him as being uh, an accurate uh, or legitimate piece of apocrypha. Uh, he was only shown it by its uh, owner in a private collection, and he didn't release the owner's name. Uh, so all we have to prove that this document itself even exists is one circumstantial uh, description by Stephen Fan uh, nowadays. And uh, other than that, there's no proof that Jesus himself ever wrote anything down. Uh, yeah. So the early Christians themselves would have all been going on hearsay uh, on like the writings in the Gospel of Thomas, who wrote down the sayings of Jesus uh, and these sorts of things. Whereas uh, in reality, there, there was likely a book that Christ or that Jesus himself wrote. And that was the angel scroll of Yeshua and Padiah.